Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I have a new game for you called Port Simulator Hamburg. Um, I haven't seen that many um, people who have done videos on this game in English. I know when I was trying to learn this game it was not very helpful because the in-game help is not very detailed and I was trying to look online and I couldn't find a lot of help in English so I thought I would make this video. Um, I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to make it money limited, 100,000 euros. You have to make, basically. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Welcome, your goal is to manage the port and earn 100,000 euros. Press F1 if you need any help. Okay. So, we're going to be starting off this whole experience of running a port. Now, basically, here are where all of the trains will access our port. Um, and they will come from over this direction. Um, now, the first thing I need to do is make some cranes. Now, these are all of the lanes. We are in Terminal 1. This is Terminal 1. This is Terminal 2, which I believe is for um, liquids and fuel and stuff like that. But I'm going to kind of con concentrate on Terminal 1. Now, the first thing I, that I have to do is I have to build the cranes or the loaders or whatever they're called. I click on the, the key here, which looks like a cog, or the icon here, which looks like a cog, because I need to buy all the cranes that I need. Now, I know that I need a dock crane, and I need one small crane, storage area small crane. I need one big crane, and I know that I need a train crane, and I know that I need four carts. So everything else I'm just going to leave. I'm going to buy those things like so. Now while I am constructing that stuff, I'm going to choose a job. So I just clicked on the clipboard icon there. And I'm going to find a good first job, which is not too hard. I would recommend for your first job that you go for something that is not too hard. And I'll explain about that later. Um, I don't really know how to do the the liquid ones that are in terminal 2 so I'm going to kind of stick with the container ones now ideally when you look at the ones with the container icon it will tell you the number of loading trains so this is basically the number of trains that you will have to load so obviously I would also recommend you go for unload only because that is it's a lot easier for your first few missions so unload only, um, and then obviously if the number of trains that you have to load is low, that means that the amount of, of containers is less, um, and therefore it will be an easier first job for you to do. Now unfortunately there aren't any here that are low enough, like the smallest one here has got six loading trains. So I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm going to go make my cranes that I bought. So you can see here all of the cranes are here. I just need to build them. So I'm going to click on the first one here. I'm going to put this here. So basically I'm in terminal one and I plan on using the first lane here. So I'm going to stick my large crane here. Um, I'm then going to go for the storage area crane. I'm going to put all the cranes in the top one, that one in the top one, this one also in the top one, and I'm going to go for, a, well obviously the train crane has to go here and there's only, only one area that that can actually go. As you can see everything is building away, um, you can see that they're, they're actually physically there right now, so all of the boats are going to actually come in here and then I'll be moving the cargo from here to here and then I'll be moving it over here and then finally onto the trains over here. So I'm going to skip time 24 hours and then I'm going to go back to the jobs see if it has changed if there are any that are smaller. No. It's not really giving me a lot of good first jobs for me to show you really is it anyway I haven't hired anyone like I'm not wasting any money because I've not hired anyone as such yet so I'm going to skip forward a number of days 
like so. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the jobs and see if it's any better. 11. Wow, this game is really kind of not playing very nice, is it? Right now, because it's, it's actually getting worse. Okay, there's one here with five. Yeah, okay. There's one here, it says, well, it will tell you the name of the ship that's coming in. So it's called Captain's Gold X, or is that Captain's Gold 10, maybe? You can see it's got the container icon. It's unload only. It arrives on the 19th of November. Um, it's got, well, I will have to load five trains. So it's a fair amount of containers, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to accept that, like so. Um, the other important thing for you to think is it, it will tell you that the ship here is arriving on the 19th of November. You also have to pay attention to when the trains arrive. So it says loading trains 5, but it also says the first arrival time of the trains is 24th of November. So that means that there's a little bit of a gap in between when the ship arrives and when the trains arrive to pick up everything that comes off of the ship. So you need to bear that in mind a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to skip forward to the 19th of November or around that time so that when the ship arrives, I should be good. Okay, so we're already nearly there. Um, yeah. I'm going to skip forward a little bit slower now. I don't want to, like, miss out on a lot of hours. Okay, so a ship has arrived from the sea. So what I'm going to do, I haven't hired anyone yet. I need to hire a ship pilot. So I'm going to just hire the first one I see here. Like that. I know that I also have to employ... Uh, four crane operators one for each crane there's not many crane operators here are there okay let's go further down so crane operator one crane there's only one crane operator wow this game is really making it hard on me today isn't it I don't see any more crane operators am I blind or are they really not anymore Nope. This game is really trying to make it hard on me today, isn't it? So there's only one crane operator available. So that's pretty strange. So let's... Uh, anyway, at least I have one. At least it's not zero, you know. At least I have one. So, um, yeah. What I need to do now is I need to click on the ship icon here. And I... I Oh, and I need to assign, I forgot, I need to assign the guy that I just um, hired. I need to click on the, the manage thing here and I need to choose, uh, okay, the crane operator, I need to choose the crane that he is going to be working on. So I'm going to choose the first one because I only have one crane operator. I'm going to choose that he works from 6 until 2. And the same for the ship pilot. So it's kind of cool in this game that everyone you employ, you have to choose the shift that they will work on. So when you get everything kind of built up, then you can actually employ enough people so that every job is working around the clock, which is kind of cool. So yeah, both of those should be working now. So when I go back to the ship icon, you should see I have one of one pilots available so that is good I can click on the ship here I can click autopilot and I can click on number one because I know this is where I want to offload all my stuff so I click that I go back like so and then I should be able to skip forward time a little bit and look there it is the ship is here awesome so now I'm going to click on here to see, because for some reason um, it forces you to do containers manually. Now I don't know how this works, but as you can see it says containers manually, zero of zero. So the game has randomly, I don't know if it is random, I don't know how this, this works, this mechanic. Because uh, I basically learned this game from, 
from mostly trial and error but it says zero of zero I, I don't know why sometimes it will force you to do some of these containers manually or sometimes it will force you to do other um, other jobs with the crane manually you, you know I'm sure that you'll see that later but for some reason it has decided that I don't need to do any at this point it says zero of zero so that's cool so that means what I can do is I can get out of this crane and my guy hopefully my guy will take over oh but first I nearly forgot I need to get a cart in this building are lots of carts which are used to transport the containers so the the crane it can't really operate until there is a cart ready right behind it so I'm gonna click on the cart icon here I'm gonna um, move I mean as you can see I have four four carts in the garage I'm gonna click here on the right arrow here so that I can send them to the crane I click on the crane icon and I click no that's weird oh no I think I pressed the wrong thing no I didn't so why is it not letting me send to the crane why is it bringing up a location that is very strange okay I did buy carts Okay, maybe I'm going to start lifting one, maybe? No, but it's not going to it's not going to allow me to lift any, is it? Because there aren't any highlighted. There are none highlighted. Or is it because I'm not I am playing. That is now hang on. Right, okay. This is a bit bizarre now. Let me see. I clicked on terminal 2 so let me just double check it's now 7 in the morning I've got a crane operator he is working from 6 till 2 he is he is working right now on crane 2123 this is crane 2123 so the crane has got someone in it but for some reason when I try to send the carts out, they won't come out. Very strange. Usually it works fine. Let's maybe put them all back into the garage. And then, I don't know. For some reason it's sh sh showing... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Sorry about this, I know. I can remember now. I need to click on the crane and I go on to set... Dock. I thought it had already automatically done this because a message popped up, but no. I need to then click A because this is the area that the crane is in. Yes, there you go. I thought it all automatically did that. Sorry about that. So now the crane is working and now the cart should work. So let's go back here so you can see them coming out. Click on the cart icon, four carts, like so. Whoops, not five, four click them to go to the crane and now the icon is here because that is the crane I would like it to go to which I've chosen and you can see the four carts are heading to the container area so you'll see now that the carts will start to pull out like so very slowly but they do work and you can see that this guy is now waiting to pick up he's waiting for the carts to arrive so that uh, he can then start placing the containers onto the carts now there is one weird thing I've noticed when I skip forward the time the actual carts they still move in the exact same way as if you don't skip forward the time uh, it does actually usually work fine though even though visually the carts don't move any faster when you speed up um, it does usually work that you know obviously all the containers will all of a sudden be moved so it does usually work fine but it's kind of weird that sometimes even when you skip forward time visually the dock still looks the same right so let's just watch one of these go across so you can see that my guy in the crane is 
gradually putting the first one on here and then this guy should then take this over here and the thing that's awkward is I don't have another crane operator okay because I need someone here to be taking the the containers off of this cart and put them here so that's gonna hold me up if I can't get another crane operator so let's try again hmm how bizarre see usually there's there's loads of them so I don't know why there's not any or hardly any crane operators today train conductors maintainers everything else is here but I don't see crane operators how strange no that is really strange um, that is really annoying as well to be honest um, I, so and also the game doesn't really explain in any real detail what um, all of the various occupations do obviously I know that a ship pilot helps you like to pilot the ships where you would like them in the port I know the train conductor does the exact same thing but for trains. Obviously I know the train, uh, the train, the crane workers obviously um, uh, work the cranes. I can work out the mechanics are the ones that obviously fix things. But like a worker, what does a worker do, a general worker? I, you know, it really doesn't explain like what does the AGV supervisor do I heard I think or I think I read that it helps the carts to operate more efficiently but I'm not sure if that's true what is a terminal supervisor does that mean that more things are done automatically I have no idea so I, I kind of wish the game would explain all these occupations in more detail but yeah right now we're gonna get kinda stuck because as you can see the, the crane is moving and because we only have four of these carts what's going to happen is they're all going to get filled up and no one is moving these these off of here therefore we have an issue yeah therefore we have an issue so I'm going to skip forward time and I'm going to see now as you can see everything is now stopped oh hang on what that is weird that is really weird so even though I don't have a crane operator in here it the game must have somehow decided uh, that is weird every other time I've played this game I've had a crane operator in obviously in this crane so then they're the ones that are taking the containers off of the crane off of the cart and um, onto the floor here but even though I didn't have anyone in here when I fast forwarded the time somehow as if by magic it got the containers here it was able to take them off to carts that is really bizarre I did not know that unless the game managed the one tr uh, crane operator I have and moved him to and fro from the, the cranes but I'm, I'm not sure if, if the game is that intelligent. Anyway, as you can see, there is a little bit of an annoying thing with the carts where when you skip forward the time for some reason, they will kind of go slightly awry. I had four and now I only have one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call out the other three carts. As you can see, I have three in the garage. I'm going to call them all out, back out to here to continue with this hopefully we'll see some carts coming out okay so I think that you can kind of see the, the process that I am going through right um, I'm gonna have one look after two hours to see if there's any crane operators at all nope I mean I have played this game a reason a reasonable amount and I've never seen a game with no crane operators never so that is really bizarre anyway whatever so yeah you can kind of see what I am doing here we are lifting the containers off of here 
and we are basically taking them over here ready for them to get moved onto a, a cart here and onto a train over here so you can see what's happening i'm going to skip forward the time again to see if we m magically manage to get all the containers here yeah we do there you go so that is that is really bizarre that the game still is able to lift all the containers from here onto the floor here even though there's not anyone in here that's an interesting piece of information which i should remember for future reference but yeah as you can see the, the boat is now empty so that's going to be the end of the first video thank you for watching and the next video will be the process of me sending all of these over to here ready to go on onto the trains so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you and goodbye